Um, I paid seven hundred and twenty-five dollars for my ticket. Six forty-seven each, plus like a hundred and twenty dollars service fee. We went through Ticketmaster, ended up sitting like the second to last row, second to last seat, just like way far up. Ladies, have your bags open. Have your bags open. The Hamilton phenomenon has given me a zero balance on all of my credit cards. I have a professional line sitting business called Same Old Line Dudes. We wait for uh, New Yorkers and visitors and tourists in the New York area for anything that has a long line. We, are, we have waited upwards of 40 hours in some instances to uh, secure tickets for our clients. Hamilton is an everyday occurrence for us. We're always booked and we're always in line for premium tickets and regular tickets. I was waiting for 36 hours in, in total. So yeah, from, yeah. Um, and obviously you have to bring deodorant, you have to be, cause you're not gonna go back to shower. So bring deodorant, bring toothbrush, um, find bathrooms in hotels to like do your business. <laughs> How long have you been in line today? Nine. Since 8 p.m. yesterday. So about, so 24, hours. about 24 hours. We knew we were getting here Thursday night, and because just the knowledge we've had from reading online forums and our past experience, we knew we probably would not get in until Saturday. But I think the reason the line is so crazy right now is because Lynn, the, the um, writer Reed. and Reed. the guy who's playing Hamilton, announced yesterday that his last performance will be on July 9th. So Lynn's closing night's going for 10000 I guess, it seems. And uh, the only reason they get that high is obviously because people actually pay it. People are willing to pay crazy amount of money for these tickets. And so yesterday, these people that went in, not yesterday, Wednesday, went into the show, they said there's a whole bunch of seats in the mess, right? And obviously, and it's supposed to be sold out, right? So why are these seats open? Obviously, those are the tickets that the scalpers bought and they couldn't sell them. But I have also entered the lottery a bunch of times. I was here for spring break and I entered the lottery seven days. I was in a group of 20 people. I had them all enter it and we all lost it over and over again. But it was totally worth every penny of all the money I spent on this show. I mean, I spent more, of course, at the, the bar and the merchandise tables, got souvenirs and all that stuff. This is a rap hip-hop musical about a president. Like, it's historically accurate. It's bragging rights to me and all my theater community friends. Like, I texted so many people and everyone's jealous. I would be so much more interested in politics if everything was a rap <laughs> battle instead of just a regular political debate. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. And when I meet Thomas Jefferson, I'ma compel him to include women in the sequel. 